Hi, everybody, and welcome to my attempt this week at BBO's weekly free instant tournament. Um, same hands all week, start on a Friday. Um, it's match points, and you have the best hand. Um, well, maybe not quite the best hand, but nobody can have more high card points than you. That's the way it works. So it's in under instant tournaments and the weekly free instant tournament. Eight words. Right. Okay. So here we go. We've got a week two bid on our right, six diamonds, and we've got a very nice diamond stop. 13 points. So we've got clubs here. Um we could bid some club, three clubs, but what we really hope is that uh, partner can make a takeout double of two diamonds and we can pass it, I think, is the aim here. Um, certainly, they probably won't make two diamonds. They might actually have something in the majors, but partner may bid the majors and we may have to try no trumps, possibly. So right for now, we've just got to pass and see what west and north have so two hearts from west is forcing um shows hearts so they do have a heart suit partner hasn't over called spades um this one three diamonds is just saying that i haven't got anything other than diamonds to talk about so um and I don't think we have anything to talk about. Double here would be takeout again. And we don't want to take out. We want penalties, so we're going to pass. And maybe if it goes around to partner, partner's got something kind of reopening if they have, if they actually have hearts, and that's what stopped them bidding last time. But this is probably going to get passed out. No. So now we go to three hearts here. So they don't want to play in diamonds, not surprisingly. We have these clubs. Don't know how they got six plus hearts. Partner can quite easily have four hearts here over them. But we really don't have enough to do anything. Um, there's no guarantee partner will have clubs. Well, the fact that we know they don't have diamonds, they didn't bid spades, they may not have many points. Well, there's a reasonable chance they do have clubs and clubs, but I think we just got to pass and hope to beat three hearts. Partner does have spades, and chance partner even has um five hearts. The robots don't signal. Them. There's a low spade. We may as well try our rough. Well, that's quite good. We've got clubs sat over here. We now, well, we're not, it's likely we have two club tricks if we don't play them. Danger playing diamonds is that this hand's void and throws something away and they get in dummy, but we like quite likely to take a heart finesse. I think we've got to leave the king of diamonds. Now throwing a club away. I don't think that was a singleton. Um, that's three of the nine of clubs. See, partner recognises that as encouraging. Spade, we don't want these little diamonds. And partner, those. Partner, no. We'll get rid of our little club. And partner has another heart. Um, so each of us had one heart. That's partner's fifth heart. There's a heart left here. 
no diamonds, no spades, no clubs. As long as partner doesn't lead their diamond, we're... see if I throw the, I can afford to throw the jack of clubs, yes. Green diamonds, rough, club comes, another heart, so. Mm. I only had a doubleton club, but we're getting it one off, we get 60.7%. So if we played the ace of clubs, that would just have been one club trick anyway. So we got end played by partner doing that. And if we bid three clubs, we get to play that. Um, of course, we don't. We go up to four clubs, we can go off. So we'll take our 60.7%. And the opponents are doing lots of bidding today. So we're here with our 14 points. Good spade stop. Hearts and clubs. Well, I think we probably are good enough here to make a Michael's Q bid. Showing five plus hearts and a five plus minor minor suit. Um, and the king queen of spades seem to be probably well placed. So we will. This one bids hearts, which says they've got a good spade raise. Um, doesn't mean they've got hearts. Partner still passes. We are vulnerable. They bid three spades. It's going to be our lead, so we can lead clubs. We've probably got, may well have two spade tricks. Two club tricks. I'm going to hope partner has got a trick. So we can beat three spades, I think. Double is takeout. Say we had something in diamonds. Pass is pass. What does four clubs mean? It's four plus clubs, five plus R, 25 plus total points. So the robot just thinks you have the earth if you bid again. So we just have to pass. And the robot leads the king from ace king. Well, who has the singleton heart? That's the question. We're going to make our two spades, and looks like our two clubs. If partner has a singleton heart and three spades, who wants the three spades? This hand's got five, so partner can't have more than two spades. I think we cash our club. And uh, partner probably has a need. And try the three of hearts. So it looks like partner had the singleton queen. Seven of spades. Well, let's leave the jack of hearts pinning the ten and hope the partner comes up with a diamond trick. So we pin. They had to win with the king. It's the ace go. Two of clubs. One of clubs. No suit. Let's see what the diamond situation is. Well, we'll see in a minute. Um, we could lead a club. We could lead a heart. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's lead a club. 
Let's see diamonds. Four of spades. What we do, part looks like partner has the king of diamonds. No, declare has the king of diamonds. So there was nothing we could do. And making three spades is par for the course. Partner had an awful lot of diamonds to eight of them to the jack. So there was no way to beat this contract, I don't believe. Whatever I do, show double dummy that contract always makes. Up to any other table. Four clubs making. Somebody got three spades off. I did well to do that. Now did they do it? They led the ace of clubs and the king of clubs. Three of hearts, same as me. Five of spades, the ace. Oh, they didn't take the finesse. Don't know why the robot played that differently. It's the queen. And now I could, well, doing that way, I can uh, play the ace, draw a trump, and stop them roughing their losing club. So. Why the robot played differently there, I don't know. And um, certainly bidding four clubs seems a bit extreme. Especially the robot's going to give you five clubs. All right. Okay. Well, we're just nudging along at our just above average, um, along with a lot of other people. And we have a fat 13 count, which would be a one no trump opening in Akol, which would be very effective at match points. We'd be blocking out a heart bid from the opponents. Um, so we've got to open one of a minor in the robot system. One spade. We don't want to raise on three. We just want to show our balanced shape despite our heart weakness. Partner says well, they ought to have six spades for this bid, really, but they don't want to play in no trumps. We've got, actually got quite good support, but they don't have a lot of points, so we're going to play in two spades unless the opponents bounce. They don't, so this will be a standard contract. Um, and we've got six spades. Um, we need to set up a club trick to go with a diamond trick. I'm probably going to switch to a trump at this point. We do need to get a heart rough in our hand. No, nope. all right. Well, we'll play the six of diamonds. There's the ace. Oh, well, that's got us two diamond tricks unless they get a rough. There's the club. There's four tricks. Are they going to cash their heart now? They are. So that's their five tricks. We don't need to get a rough now because we can throw this heart on the club and we can draw trumps. The Queen of Diamonds is a winner. This is going to be flat, so we could just draw all the trumps and uh, we have a diamond winner. And we can claim, and this will be the same as everybody else. Almost 67.9%. So who did anything different? People bid up too much. And, okay, so we keep on getting our just above averages, keeping shogging along, um, just like an opportunity to get some kind of swing. Um, we have 18 points here. The opponents have opened one club. Um, I think one heart is probably the robot with, yeah, it's a bouncing over call. I need to double first here to say I've got a real hand and then bid hearts. Allowing for partner two clubs, I'm not going to say two hearts, which is, shows what I've got. And partner doesn't like hearts. So 
But they do have three. Here's the Queen. Is that from Queen Jack or Singleton Queen? The robot quite often reads from Singleton. Um, we've got our three spade losers. We've got club loser. We want to try and get rid of our diamond loser on the club, I think. So I'm going to win this. And I'm going to set out to play clubs. They opened a club, but this one raised it. So they've both got at least three clubs. Do need an entry to table, which they've now given me. Done away with my heart loser. So now I'm going to cash the jack of clubs. Now I can throw a loser on the Queen of Clubs. The three of diamonds may not be a loser if the um if the Queen of Diamonds is coming down in two rounds. So I'm gonna take a slight chance that a diamond is going to get roughed. Chance. Okay. Right, so now I need to get rid of a, a loser on the Queen of Clubs. So I'm drawing the last trump. And right, what's the best thing to do? I think to tr throw the three of diamonds away. And now I'm going to read the jack of spades and see if we can get them to crash a spade or their spade on us. No, they don't. Nine tricks, which should be par for the course again. Oh, 85 point. Oh, that's a surprisingly good result for what seems like a normal contract. Oops. So two hearts plus one. Lots of people have just kept a two hearts or two hearts going one off. So it's fortunate that there's Queen Jack Doubleton of hearts that makes a nice easy entry to table. Right. Um, so we got lucky there, but still third to fifth. So there are people running faster than us. Um, we've got 17 high card points here for this nice six card spade suit. I'm very tempted to open one no trump. I'll stick to the robot system and bid a spade. Two spades. Well, four spades, I suppose. So um, three no trumps might make the same number of tricks, but we can't be sure. So can we get We've got two heart losers and a spade loser. Two heart losers, a spade loser, and a diamond loser. Um, Queen of Clubs led from there, so presumably, probably the jack is there as well. So it looks as though we need the spade finesse to make the contract. Um, or let something nice to happen in hearts. Um, I'm just going to really need a second entry to dummy. There's no indication that we know that East has less than an opening hand. West hasn't led the King of Hearts, but they don't always lead from the King Queen of Hearts. But there's a 
reasonable chance that at least one of the heart honors is in the east hand. All right, I think we'll just take the ace of clubs here and take a spade finesse. Loses, so I suppose we're making this contract. Jack of clubs comes. We'll probably have the ten of clubs. Um, hoping that trumps are 2-2 two, two so that we can leave have one in still in dummy after drawing jumps but we don't want to let them rough no three trumps in this hand um we'd like a trump in dummy but there's nothing immediate oh it's only for the possibility of a rough and a discard but we need to draw that last trump we can't let it make. Um, let's see if we can persuade them to west to go up with the Ace of Diamonds. No. It looks as though it's all coming to naught. Is it where we're going to lose our two hearts and be down one? No. Forty-two percent. So the people stop out of four spades, presumably. Four spades minus one. Somebody made it, but the people ahead of us are those who who stopped out just past two spades. Interesting, and no trumps is not a disaster. You can afford to lose a spade. Maybe three no trumps was the right contract. Okay, look down to six seventh, but still with 62%. So the people can't be too far ahead of us. Um, and we've got 14 points with a six card diamond suit. Well, I think in this case, I am going to open, treat it as 15 and open one no trump. Two clubs, two diamonds, don't have a full card major, two spades, invite major. Got four hearts and five spades and nine high card points. Well, I don't think we want to go to game. Do we want to settle for two spades or do we want to try two no trumps? I think we'll try two no trumps. Right, a spade lead. That may give us an extra spade trick. Partner doesn't have any diamonds with us, so we're going to have to make our diamond play, play our diamonds from hand or set up enough spade tricks. Let's play the jack and see if it wins. That's the queen. What's this lead of a three? Might be from three small. Robot likes that lead. If it is, then we've got five spade tricks, two hearts, and then we want to try and get something else. So I think we'll try and get them to play other things. So I'm going to try the eight of diamonds and see if they persuade them to play some other suit. Um, don't really want them to play clubs. I'm going to throw the six of hearts away. Okay. 
seven of diamonds, see if we can persuade them to cash enough diamonds. I will throw a club away now because I'm looking for them to lead clubs from that side. Two of hearts, see if the eight will draw the queen or jack. No, just the nine. The fact that they haven't led clubs does suggest that the ace of clubs may be well placed. Um, I think I'm going to duck the heart because they may be reluctant to continue and we might get another diamond. Two. I'm going to risk another club. This is the third round of diamonds. So the di they had seven. We had six diamonds. They had seven. So their remaining diamond will fall into the king. These three diamonds are good. Um, I think I'm going to throw a spade away. Right. Now I can throw my clubs away. Seven of spades, it's an interesting card. And an eight of spades, this is looking increasingly good. I'm going to play these two rounds of hearts. Nobody's thrown the ace of clubs away, but there goes another spade. So now this looks as though the spades are good. And the ace of clubs was wrong, so they could have got me down a lot. But that obviously is 100%. But clearly, nothing else is going to score as well as two no trumps plus one. They could have got it down a lot more. Um, it's got us up to second place anyway. Um, so that was a swingy sort of action when we opened one no trump. We knew we were going to get to a different contract to anybody else. And you can see that they could have taken, well, I kept clubs in dummy for as long as I could, but they could have taken three club tricks. Right. Um, 6 4 shape, which is always good to see. And 16 points. This hand is. Worth a reverse, it's worth opening one heart and then rebidding and then bidding spades. Um, although you know, we don't like the singleton ace here, um, it's it's the, the, the first suit needs to be good if you're going to reverse, you shouldn't reverse with a bad suit. So, I'm going to open a heart, one spade from my left, pass from partner, two clubs here. Well. Yeah, I worth, certainly think I'm worth two hearts. 15 to 22, but six hearts, that's what I've got. What would they think I had if I had three hearts? They think I'd have 20 to 22 total points. And I think two, heart, two hearts is the right way. Then. I expect the opponents will do some more bidding. Oh, but partner's there with three hearts now. And I think the important thing is partner pass to start with. Um, I don't think we should punish them for supporting us now in competition. Um, we should just pass. And they lead the 10 of hearts, which is very nice of them. So we won't have a heart loser unless there are three to the king here. And the spade position is nice. Um, looks like we'll lose two clubs and the spade and make four. Um, there's no reason not to draw this last trump.
Right. So both hands have done the bidding. I'm tempted to play the ace of diamonds so that if this hand plays the king, it would, um, at some point it would set up the queen. They're probably going to switch to clubs. The jack of diamonds. I wonder if that's king jack doubleton. We might try roughing them in a little while. Let's try the two of spades. There's the king. And now I expect them to cash their two clubs. No. Right. Well, let's uh, make sure of capturing the 10. Right. So now this hand's got the jack of spades. So now we can cash the queen. This is actually going to help us, is it? But uh, I throw the jack away because it makes no odds. We can lead the nine of diamonds, which we'll just rough with the nine so that we keep the four. And there's the ten. Play. Okay, so spades. And throw away a club, but we still have the two club losers. So we'll exit with the club. And they leave the eight of clubs, oh, which we can rough and dummy under rough in our hand and blame. 170, which is not good because people bid four, presumably. Yeah, enough people bid four. But I'm not sure that four is where is the right contract. But should I have made another trick? No. Um I can't set up the Queen of Diamonds for a club discard. Right. Okay, so still in second place. Might be further behind now, though. And this is board eight. Um, and us 14 points and a six card suit again. Well, we'll give it one more whirl, shall we, to see if we can get up there and open it. Except this time, partner is a past hand. Partner wasn't past last time. So it's, we're unlikely to have game. So I'm going to open one bar. One heart. Now I can bid one no trump. Right. Well, we've got reasonable chances that we're going to make the six diamond tricks and the club trick for seven. And the Probably we'll come to a spade trick, but they've led the four of clubs, which may mean they've got a six card club suit and they're going to make five club tricks. Um, so the question is should we set up our spade tricks straight away when we get in? I don't think so. I think we've got to run our diamonds and get them to make discards. I think that we let them in. We could try, you see, just winning, hopefully, the king of clubs, leading a spade, and if it's ducked, running for home. That's a possible line. But they may go in with the ace of spades and then run the clubs. And if they run... Ace of spades and six clubs. I have to find a lot of discards. I'm going to be throwing away winners. So winning a club and cashing six diamonds, if they do cash, actually makes the contract, doesn't it? And we could go down if we don't, because we've got three top losers, and, up, and then they set up enough clubs. So I'm going to go up with the king of clubs in the hope that this lead is away from the ace.
and they switch to diamonds. So this may mean that the diamonds are not breaking. But I think I'm going to play five here, six, queen, I think I got to take. Hope that that wasn't a singleton. Or from four. It wasn't. So the diamonds are coming in now. Right. I'm running the diamonds. I'm going to throw two spades away from dummy. So. We did have six diamonds in our hand, two in dummy, that was eight. So um, I'm going to keep, I'm going to throw a heart away now. Just to see if we can encourage them to do something. I'm going to throw another heart away. Like I want to keep the club for some purpose. Oh, the, oh, the Queen of Clubs is a winner, isn't it, still? So they can make us, yes. So let's set up another winner. There you go. That's got my seven tricks. Here's my eighth. Uh, and now I think that's all we're getting. Going to two point nine per cent. Well, it should keep us in second place at least. Mm. Yeah, it did. So first place was somewhere ahead of us, and they probably did the same on the last board. Um So we look here, we obviously got lucky on six, but we have swing for six. This one looks fairly standard. Um, line of play, and board eight are two good boards. On the other ones, we well, we'd have done better to bid game here. And we'd have done better to keep lower on the other ones. Um, on that one for example. So I hope you did find that useful, that there were some useful lessons. Let me know if I've gone too quickly and you'd like me to um, slow down and explain things better, because um, that's what I aim to do. Um, clearly, there are other people who play this weekly free instant tournament, um, but I'm my aim is to explain what's happening in more detail um, so if you think I'm missing out on that, please do put something in the comments about it. If you feel that I'm doing less than I used to or whatever, um, please do put that down. But please do still like and subscribe um, so that um, YouTube knows that it's worth me doing this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.